I'm fine. Alright, action. Guys, what's up guys? It's EJ, and you're watching EJ Lab. I just got this feeling that I should do stand-up comedy. So here's the first joke. It's gonna crack you guys up. Why did they call it monologues or monologues if my dad's the one that's always talking? Like, I don't understand that. Why is it called monologues if my dad's the one that has the motor mouth? So, you know, they should call it datalogues. You know, one time my dad had his full lecture telling me stuff. I, pro I know you prob your dad's probably do it too. It's a dad thing. And they're going to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. They're going to want direct eye contact. And they're going to make it really awkward. They're going to make it so that you have to, like, find a way to look away. You got to get your eyes off of him because he has, like, that, that feeling where he's like, Ugh. But I... I just have to stay focused on his any part of his face that is not his eyes. So, what I'm thinking is, why shouldn't I just get it and tell my dad, guys, you should tell your dad this too. You know, you gotta just walk up to him and be like, you're just like me. You like to talk. And then you're gonna walk away, turn around, and dab on him. That's what you got to do, guys. The next joke is, why do people say that dads give the most information? It's not wrong. They do give a lot of information. But is it the right information? Is it the information that had anything to do with the conversation at hand? One time, my dad, he w we was talking, like what I just said, and he literally... This is what he did. He forgot what we was talking about. And he just started going off to a whole other universe. And I do that sometimes. I be like, man, I be in school. I be eating lunch. Or not even lunch. Just a snack. And I would be like, man, I'm doing the work. And then I would totally forget what I'm doing. I would go off. That's my dad right there. He just like, let's say your dad or anybody's dad was just like, they was eating they kept eating, they watched TV, and then they just start, They then they pause the show, the TV goes off, and they're like, oh man, what was I watching? Because they were so sucked up, they don't even remember what they was talking about or watching. That's my dad. Another thing is, my dad always loves Coca-Cola. He loves it. He had, I haven't seen him drink any of it today. I mean, a lot. Of, he's drunk a lot of it today. He's this is the, probably like his third one. Look, he's right there drinking some right now, guys. He's right there drinking some right now. Man, you got a problem with that Coca Cola, man. Like lay off the soda, man. You always show me. He's always showing me these pictures of what happens when you drink sweets or eat sweets, and like the teeth are chipped off and all white and all like yellow. They got these brown spots. That's gonna be his teeth. That's gonna be his teeth, drinking all that Coca-Cola. He like them, them fruit juices. He got one on the floor right now. He got two of them on the floor. Right now, next to my pool. He got two of them. Not one, not two, but two. <laughs> exactly, I said two twice. Dun, 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 dun. But guys, he has a serious problem with this. Just drink some water. He's always lecturing me about, man, you can't be doing that. You just got to drink some water. Nah, you can't be eating them sweets. You got to drink some water. Nope. He does the exact opposite of what he puts expectations on me for, guys. And this is a kid's show. So, kids, if you can relate, hit the like button. Guys, the next joke is, why does my dad have everything broken? Guys, we be eating... I be doing school, and I will almost, you know how many times I fell out of that chair because the chair is broken halfway? You know how many times? Try to guess. 30 likes, and I will tell y'all in a separate video. So many times I fell out of the chair. Fell, bang, the chair flips off, and the, uh, the, the so the metal part is there. The seat just goes off sometimes. So we could be eating lunch or dinner. He could be putting it on my plate. I could be like, oh, no, I got it. And I would lift up, sit back down, and boom! And I just fall straight through the chair. Like with the stool. So I was, one day, 
the stool was loose, the, like the lead part. So I was just sitting down, we was having a conversation, he was data logging me. And we was just talking, and he was just saying, I just dozed off for a second. Then, I was about to fall asleep. I don't even know what we was talking about then. And then, boom, the, the stool line just breaks off. And I'm like, boom, oh man, that woke me up. He wasn't gonna wake me up, so I woke up myself <laughs> by falling out the stool. Like the boy was like, boom, and my foot was, I thought I was about to fall off something. Like, in a, you know, you ever watched the video, your grandfather ever watched a video, and it was like some kid and a mom on a roller coaster, and then the mom starts screaming, and the kid's just sitting back. That's how I felt. I'm like, I'm the mom screaming, and dad's the one just like, That's how it works, man. That is the roller coaster of fear. Right there. That's what just happened. So, guys, tell your parents up street. Mostly your dad, because your dad probably has this problem. Stop talking. That's what you just got to tell them sometimes. And I do it. I do it. I do it often in class sometimes about talking. Talk, talk, talk. But dads do it five times more than kids. I'm telling y'all. This is from experience. Like, guys, tell your dads to stop talking. Gotta tell them to stop talking. Like, this, you got, you probably got some teachers, and they just be like, mute your mic, since we on this online thing. I wish I could literally, so my mom told, she, I talk, and she just pinches my lips. She should have did that to my dad. That's what she should have did. To keep, to keep him stop talking. That's what you should do to him. Ah, oh, that's what you should do to your the dad. Ask your mom to do it to somebody. Just get him quiet. He could be dad monologue, dad allowing you. You could just be like, and mom could be like walking through the hallway, and I'm just like, no, 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 come on. And she could walk in and just be like, and I could be like. And she could be like, bah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. and then that's how you solve that problem. Next joke, joke number three or four, I don't know. Guys, I haven't kept track of this. I'm just telling funny jokes. So, the next joke is, why do dads have to have such fashion or fashion thing? They got to be like, you know, so I was in school and... My teacher, he was right next to me. My teacher was like, oh, I see you're nice and dressed today, Emmanuel. Because where I used to be at, I would be just like in, sh in night clothes, as they would say. It's not night clothes. I'm tired and I have like clothes laid out, which is like shorts and some other stuff. Because it's hot in my house. For real. For real. It's, it's hot in here. When I go to sleep, it's cold. But that's not the point. The point is, my dad needs some better air conditioning. But that's not the point point. It's just my dad needs some real good air conditioner because, like, that air conditioner All is right, horrible. All right, stop. Get to the point. Um, it's the end of the joke. See, and I, I know I told y'all to tell y'all dads not to talk so much, but I tried to tell my dad about data logs, and he thought I was talking about statistics. And I guess that just must be some type of dad stuff. All right, y'all, that's my time. And cut it. All right, ready? Okay. All right, go ahead. All right, guys, this is the end of the joke. Guys, I was talking to my dad. I know I told you guys to talk about my dad, to tell your dad to be quiet and stuff. But I was talking to my dad, and he was like, man, he was talking. And I said, man, why he got a on me all the time? And he was like, he thought I was talking about st statistics. And I'm like, what's statistics? What is statistics, man? And I was confusing it with politics. And I'm like, what does politics have to do with this entire conversation? So we went on and on about what he was saying. And then I was like, I fell asleep after that. I was on the couch sleeping. And he would kept talking. He woke me up like, what did you do? And he kept to talking, to talking, to, to, to talking. And he didn't stop. Bye, guys. This is DJ EJ. And this is your first comedy show.